how to add Amazon affiliate products to Shopify. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can be a dropshipper on Amazon and use your Shopify as a funnel to uh, create affiliate income. And that involves two things, right? The technical side and the finding a good product site and i'm going to show you both generally in this video okay so the first step is the technicalities so to actually import an amazon product to your shopify store and to like label it as your product and to drop ship it essentially in shopify the first thing that we need to do is to uh, install an app and that app is the amazon importer spreader app you can search it in the apps button over here and just type in spreader and it should show like the blue s icon over here but if you don't find this app then just click search spreader in shopify app store and it will take you to shopify app store in there that you can find more options and one of them must be the amazon importer spreader app uh, which is the app that I mean with the uh, Talia S developer and click install. In this case, I've already has it installed in my Shopify store, so I don't need to do that anymore. And the next step is to let's get to it. Let's get to the app. All right. Now, before doing anything else, you need to make sure that you have uh, been registered as an Amazon associate which means, uh, which is the Amazon Affiliate Marketing Program. Now to do that, just go to, uh, just search Amazon Affiliate Program and you will find a website from Amazon in which you can log in and register as an Amazon associate. Now that process involves you, it's like signing up uh, with any other uh, website and creating another account for any other uh purposes so i trust you enough to do that and i assume that you have done that now let's go back to the amazon spreader app now once we've clicked the amazon spreader app it should redirect us to this website which is the spreader.co uh, uh, website now to get started we need to do these three steps right and the first step is to integrate code so let's uh, click integration guide here to learn further and do that now there you go now as you can see uh you can edit the code and okay so they add you to add a code over here now let's go to the first step which is to add the add to cart button and they ask us to go to the product dash template dot liquid and they put and we should put it in around line 171 okay so let's go ahead and do that let's click the code over here and let's go to our website go to online store and let's edit our website code from there okay so the button is to the three dot button next to customize go ahead and click it and click edit code and let's find the product uh, page which should be this one wait where is it the okay so it's under sections product dash template all right Okay, so under sections, product dash template. But we cannot seem to find that. Now, if we don't find the product dash, dash template, go to one of these uh, file. Now, it's theme dependent, so it's depending on your theme. But on Don theme, let's find where is it. So let's search product.liquid under templates. Now we do have product.json but not product.liquid. However, we have this product.spreader-button over here. 
And I assume that's the auto-generated one from the uh, spreader app. So that I think it, the code here is already taken care of. All right, so let's uh, go to the next step, which is to join Amazon. So as you can see, we have joined Amazon, so we don't need to do the step two over here, I assume. Now the, th the third thing and the last thing is to import products. So let's go ahead and go to Amazon. Now, okay, once you're in Amazon, you'll know that you're on the right path if you see a side, a side stripe over here, which is essentially a widget for you to uh, to help with your Amazon associate affiliate marketing. Now I'm just going to find a best-selling product over here. Now a tip to find a best-selling product is that, well, either you look at the recent advertisements that you see or you go to the uh, best-selling uh, best section in Amazon and I believe that's just in the bottom over here there you go popular products in beauty internationally or most wished for in movies or uh, the uh, other things right but let's use one product for example now normally for drop shipping you might want to find a brandless product but for this uh, tutorial specifically I'm just going to show you how to do things with this Crest 3D white toothpaste um, product which is uh, which has a prominent uh, branding now once you find your uh, product go to search bar and just copy the URL to the product and go back to uh, spreader and paste and paste on the add product search bar over here click add product and it will load for a second because it will uh, prepare to import said product to your store all right so once you've added successfully you can edit it now i highly recommend you to edit it and do a few uh, customizations over here and now once you click edit as you can see it is already listed in your product list in shopify and that is how you know that the communication between your shopify store to your stripe to your spreader to your amazon uh, affiliate marketing program is working because the spreader app can actually uh, add products to your Shopify right now you might want to change the title over here I'm just going to uh, going to simplify the title over here so that it looks more organic and uh, you might want to change the description over here maybe you want to add like a copywriting for it maybe you have like a healthcare personal healthcare uh, brand in Shopify you might want to and uh, you might want to align it better to your branding and there are a few things that you can do here but i highly recommend you to uh, mark up the price depending on the price that you want so for example over here i'm just going to mark up the price at a random number above the initial number and i'll click save and there you go and now i have my first ever uh, amazon affiliate marketing product in shopify now the other thing that we can do is that we can sync this uh, product to re-import it. So if there are any changes to the product description, the price, we can synchronize it and we can uh, make an updated view, uh, an updated product description in our Shopify. So what this does is that other than uh, it creating a product in your uh, product list, it also uh, helps with the um, the selling of the product. So you don't have to deal with 
the syncing and the inventory checking, you simply need to just go to your spreader.co app and sync it and maybe view it in your store and view it also in Amazon to make sure everything uh, is all right. Now I'm going to take you to the uh, online store view of our newly added Amazon product. Now, as you can see, uh, this uh, product is already listed in your Shopify store. And if a buyer clicks buy it now, now uh, it is unavailable for me at this point, but if a, uh, if a purchaser uh, clicks buy it now right here, it will work as if they're buying straight from you. And in reality, it will be handled and packaged directly by the seller in Amazon. Now that's the beauty of it. And one thing to note here is, as in a lot of drop shipping uh, applications, you really need to make sure that you uh, have a winning product at hand to make it uh, still uh, profitable. Also, last but not least, if you want to, like maybe for some reason, you want to add a view in Amazon button in your uh, Shopify store, you can do that by following the previous step that we skipped before involving the coding. But I think it's pretty outdated over here and you think, and I think you need to find the specific a page that they see over here that, that they uh, listed down over here but what this code but what this coding done is that it will add uh, the add to cart button with the uh, view on Amazon button in which your affiliate link will be linked uh, with so that is how you can uh, directly uh, use the Amazon affiliate link uh, link in your Shopify store. So uh, instead of them doing the checkout in your website, you can direct them directly to Amazon if you do so choose, but they will shop with your affiliate link so you will uh, still get a cut from their purchase. So that's all from me. Thank you very much.